A Florida court is currently weighing a very important matter. Does the public have the right to see a 77-year-old billionaire get a hand job? The 77-year-old is Robert Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots. He's one of the alleged Johns flushed out in February's Orchids of Asia Day Spa bust down in Jupiter, Florida, after police installed surveillance cameras that captured him in action at the spa. Kraft's lawyers have been doing their best to keep that footage from being released to the media. And today, they were back in court arguing that the warrant to install the cameras was illegally obtained in the first place. For obvious reasons, Kraft, who has pled not guilty to soliciting a prostitute, would really like this particular piece of game tape to stay under wraps. And his lawyer's argument makes some sense. If the publicly available affidavit against Kraft already lays out all the gory allegations, and it does, what do we need all the visual evidence for? Do we really need to humiliate this guy more than we already have? But this isn't about one guy. And like, ugh, aside, the Kraft case is pretty important. Florida is home to a wide variety of citizens. There's a man who allegedly posed as an undercover cop and then was arrested when he pulled over a real cop. The man who was arrested for allegedly threatening to destroy a neighborhood with his elite army of turtles. And then of course, the man who was charged with battery for groping a fingerprint technician while he was being fingerprinted for disorderly conduct. We only know about these guys because the Florida Constitution and a series of statutes known as Sunshine Laws require that all government records, texts, photos, videos, whatever, must be available to the public easily with only the rarest exemptions. That's what makes the Florida Man Twitter feed possible. It's also what gives Floridians more government transparency than residents of any other state. The Florida Sunshine Laws are currently under three separate kinds of assault. First, there's corporations who have figured out how to exploit public records as tools in litigation. In 2013, Lake Point Restoration Mining Company sued environmentalist Maggie Herchala, sister of late U.S. Attorney General Janet Reno, for harming its reputation and helping kill a lucrative contract it had with the county. The company cited emails it found after a public records request where Herchala complained to county commissioners about Lake Point's environmental record. A jury found the emails false and disparaging and ordered her chala to pay the company $4.4 million in damages. She doesn't have assets. They confiscated two kayaks. I think she bought used, I want to say, in 1976, and a Toyota Corolla with 200 and some thousand miles on it. And this is what we refer to as a slap suit, a strategic lawsuit against public participation. We want to send a message, says Lake Point, to all you citizens out there who think you know better than we. We're just going to bigfoot you because we've got the money and the resources and the deep pockets and you don't. The company hasn't responded to our request for comment. But her chala does have her car and kayaks back while she appeals. What lawsuits alone can accomplish, the Florida legislature might. Florida House Bill 7125 would require the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to automatically seal millions of criminal records in cases where charges weren't filed, or dropped, or dismissed, or even if someone was tried and then found not guilty. The bill's supposed to lighten the workload at the department, but it'll actually make it a lot harder for Floridians to know whether the teacher their district wants to hire has ever been tried for a lascivious act, or if a neighborhood cop was ever accused of assault. Things like police misconduct and wrongful prosecution would suddenly be much tougher to expose. Then of course there's the rich guys, guys like Kraft, whose lawyers argue that sunshine laws shouldn't apply to their clients. In a previous court appearance, Kraft's attorney suggested that Florida's laws are in conflict with the U.S. Constitution's Fourth Amendment rights to privacy even though Florida's constitution says the right to privacy, quote, shall not be construed to limit the public's right to access to public records, unquote. It's about getting a video out that everyone will click on because they want to see a famous person engaged in some alleged sexual conduct. That's what it's about. It's okay. Guess what? Kraft won, at least for now. On Tuesday, a judge temporarily sealed the Kraft tapes, saying that Kraft's fame made the release different than if he were just the average Florida man. Too frequently we see a ceiling of records simply because of the fame or the notoriety of the subject. 
I really believe that we need access to those tapes. I just think that the more information we have, the better we as a society are able to come to our own conclusions.